Imagine if something as simple as stepping outside each morning could boost your energy, sharpen your focus, and set you up for deeper, more restful sleep. No complicated techniques, no costly supplements, just sunlight. This easy habit is backed by science, and I'll show you how to make it work for you. I'll even add some extra tips at the end to help you make it as effective as possible. So what makes this habit so powerful? Let's face it, reaching for your phone first thing that is tempting. But here is the catch. Your phone screen, even on max brightness, just doesn't have the light intensity to trigger the morning wake-up signals your body needs. You need something much more powerful, and that is natural sunlight. As soon as I wake up, I get outside and face the morning light. This is when the sun is low in the sky, what we can call a low solar angle. Facing toward the sunlight, even without staring directly at it, sends powerful signals to your brain, waking you up naturally and preparing you for the day ahead. Do you want to know the best way to make this work, even on cloudy days? Turns out, cloudy days are just as important for sunlight exposure. Clouds may diffuse the light, but those photons still reach your eyes, signaling your body to wake up. In fact, on cloudy days, you might want to get outside even longer since it can take a few extra minutes to absorb the necessary light. But what if you are up before sunrise? Here is what I do. I turn on bright artificial lights indoors. Of course, these lights won't replace sunlight, but they can help keep you awake if you are up extra early. Just remember. Once the sun rises, you still want to get outside for that natural light exposure. But how long should you spend outside for the best results? On a clear day, about 5 minutes of morning sunlight is usually enough. On cloudy days, aim for 10 minutes and if it's densely overcast or raining, try to get closer to 20 or even 30 minutes to ensure you're getting the right amount of light exposure. And what about sunglasses? Are they okay for this or should you skip them? For this morning sunlight exposure, skip the sunglasses if you can. It's fine to wear eyeglasses or contact lenses as they won't block the benefits. But avoid trying to do this from behind the window or in your car. Glass will filter out too much light, meaning you won't get the full effect. So why is this morning sunlight so powerful and how exactly does it work? Why does the morning sunlight work so well? This isn't some wellness trend. It's grounded in solid science. Morning light exposure releases cortisol, the hormone that makes you alert and energized. It also sets your internal clock, called your circadian rhythm, which controls your sleep-wake cycle. Hundreds of studies show that this simple habit is one of the most powerful tools for improving your daily energy and nighttime sleep. Ready to put it all together and see how it can work for you? Get outside each morning for that early sunlight. On clear days, 5 minutes is great. On cloudy days, aim for 10. And on overcast days, try for up to 30. Turn on indoor lights if it's dark before sunlight. But once the sun is up, step outside. Make morning sunlight a daily habit and watch how it transforms your focus, energy and sleep. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on optimizing your day. And remember, sometimes the simplest habit can make the biggest difference. So what simple habit will you start today?